The higher self is that part of you that connects you directly to the spiritual realms. It is eternal, infinitely wise and transcends our everyday consciousness. It is in touch with the divine because it is part of it. Attaining knowledge of the higher self, and its depths of inner wisdom, is the goal of the spiritual question in all its many guises. Each of us is connected with the divine. The higher self within us far transcends the understanding of our conscious minds. This is the power that all the great geniuses and teachers of history have accessed. It is also the place of magic and miracle in our lives. Here are the steps to contact it. 1. Belief Expectation. The first step is to believe that you have a higher self to establish communication with. Then expect every day that this communication will improve as you focus diligently on inner growth. Without these two essential prerequisites, it is hard to achieve anything at all in life, even on the physical level. For inner growth, these two qualities are essential. So set a goal to achieve contact with the higher self, review that goal daily, and maintain your purpose with determination until success is yours. 2. Transform your worldview. We are brought up with the primarily materialistic worldview that neglects the role of spirit. To establish close contact with spiritual realms, we need to of our entire being, conscious and subconscious, congruent with our goal. In any major activity slash goal, you have to establish the rules of the game and the way it is played. Contacting your higher self is the same. Therefore, Seek out writings and teachers that expand your understanding of the universe as fundamentally being a realm of consciousness and mind. 3. Solitude. Make regular time for yourself where you can be totally alone. A quiet place is preferable. Just sit quietly with no expectations. Do nothing. This may feel very uncomfortable and strange in the beginning. Persist. You give time and space for the inner voice to make itself heard. It will do so either during that quiet time, or else during the events of the day. A synchronistic event will occur. Someone will tell you exactly what you need to hear. You will get a sudden flash of insight. All the great geniuses of history have found times of regular solitude and silence for themselves. You should too. 4. Meditation. In meditation, you work to discipline your mind and silence the internal chatter that constantly fill it. You create a pure vessel for the higher self to fill. Following your breath is an excellent meditation discipline, as is concentrating upon a candle flame. Or visualize a golden ball of light in your solar plexus that fills your whole body with energy and healing. There are many practices that you can study and use. 5. Journal. Record your feelings, emotions, dreams and insights every day in a journal. This will help you to come into closer contact with your inner intuitive depths. You can ask the higher self questions here, and then later on record whatever insights slash answers you receive. If you do this regularly with belief and expectation, you will receive the answers you need. 6. In a dialogue. Conduct a regular inner dialogue with your higher self. For the next 40 days, decide to keep in contact throughout the day. Say to your higher self, I know you are there and I want to get to know you and pay attention to you. Please begin to speak to me and guide my life. Don't worry if this dialogue is entirely one way to begin with. Remember that you have been out of touch for decades. It takes a while to clear the cobwebs. Persist with this in a dialogue as if talking to a friend, chatting, asking questions, sharing your hopes, and begin to listen for answers. They will come. 7. Life Lessons. Look upon life as a mystery school. Believe that the whole of your life, events, situations and people, has been structured precisely in order to teach you exactly what you need to know right now. Approach life as if the whole of creation is conspiring to do good. Whenever something happens in your life, for good or ill, ask yourself what the lesson is for you. Even unpleasant people slash situations have been deliberately placed there as a challenge to help you grow. 
As you begin to view life as a drama in which you play the starring role, the role of the higher self will become increasingly evident in your life. Record your findings in your journal. 8. Dreams. Expect your higher self to speak to you in dreams. Before going to sleep, do some stretching and bending to relax your body completely. Ask your higher self a question and expect an answer. When you wake up, recall whatever you can of your dream and write it down in your journal. If you are not used to remembering dreams, this will take time and persistence. However, with patience, you will begin to recall your dreams and receive answers from your higher self. 9. Mindfulness. Focus upon living more and more in the present, on the now. When you are eating, be aware that you are eating. When you walk, know that you are walking. The only real moment is now, the past is gone forever and the future has yet to be. Therefore, work to clear your mind of concerns, illusions and extrapolations. Clear the mental clutter from the mind and create space for the higher self to fill. 10. Patience. Remember, you may have spent your entire life out of touch with Source. Therefore, it takes time to learn how to re-establish contact. Anything worth doing takes time and practice. Be vigilant and practice these steps every day and you will receive the answers you need. Remember the higher self wants to be in contact. In fact, to even speak of it is someone apart from you is contradictory. The higher self is you. The real you. So get in touch with you.